I'm Heidi Hewitt, here with Robert Green. Hi. Hey Robert, you know in this environment, it seems like saving money is just more important than it's ever been. True. Can you offer any advice for CAD managers to help companies save money with the, you know, in that environment? Uh, a, a few ideas or, or some things that I've seen companies doing. Uh, I always try to tell people, you know, assess what you have. And one of the things you can do is you can assess your software usage patterns. So you can look at, you know, how are my licenses deployed? Uh, do I have you know, licenses in branch offices that could be consolidated into a network server type package? Things like that. that. That's one place where you can achieve some savings. And then another thing that you can do is just go around to the user base and simply ask them, well, what is causing rework? Where are your errors coming from? And if you find something there that's CAD driven, uh, let's say that it's, it's a little bit too complicated for me to get a plot out because we don't have a real firm procedure for what kind of title frames are we using and, and how do we get our page setups done. You might want to look at automating that. So to me, CAD managers, it, automation and customization is, is a real cost-saving engine that you can look at. Uh, I think what's going to happen is that as the economy improves, I think companies are going to want to keep their staff levels fixed about where they are. So increasing productivity is going to save us money now and it's going to posture us to, to be able to push more work out with same staffing levels later. So go ask people where their productivity barriers are, what's hampering them, focus on those things and you'll derive savings from it. That's a good point, especially now while they've got the time to really invest in that future yeah. um, and automation. It, it, and if your users aren't real forthcoming, because I've had this happen, well, what is it that's impacting your, your productivity? What can we do? And mm, there's not a lot coming. Go to the project managers and say, where is the rework on your jobs? Because most people track that. And they'll start telling you, wow, it seems like we have 40 or 50 hours of rework on every CAD project we put out. And drill into that. Do you have a feel for why that is? Uh, what, what CAD problems are doing that? And, and they may answer back, well, it appears like we don't kick jobs off correctly, or, or we don't have a, a firm enough standards platform in place when we start the project. So that might be something for the CAD manager to lock on that would drive the rework down in future projects. And, and just from a selfish point of view career-wise, if senior management starts to see that I'm driving costs down and I'm generating savings, my job's more secure as well. So that, that's, and that's always topical advice, but particularly so now. Yeah, good point. Great, thanks.